here. Right, we're going to have a quick demo of an automatic buttonhole. So most sewing machines nowadays will come with a buttonhole foot. This is it. So the essential kit we're going to need is the button. This is going to be the actual button that you are going to use on your costume or your garment. Um, it's important because the size variable on um, the buttonhole attachment for the foot actually measures your exact button, makes the buttonhole the right size. So it's important to use the right button for the right project in here. Essential equipment. So we've got our button we've covered, we've got our pin, that will come in handy in a sec. We've got your quick unpick, ta da and you've got your buttonhole foot. Now I'm demonstrating mine on felt because you'll be able to see it a lot easier. And so what we're going to do is, I'm just gonna take the normal sewing foot off of my machine so I can put this one on. So this is the buttonhole foot, and this is the shank that attaches to the machine. And you can see this slides. We've got a stopper here and a stopper here, and this is our size variable button holder. So we're gonna pop our button in there, and we're gonna close up the gap so it's nice and secure, won't fall out. Excellent. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna uh, see if I can tilt us up so we can come to the machine, because as you can see, I've got no foot on my machine at the moment. So this uh, buttonhole foot, is going to attach. Whoops! Don't want the uh, don't want the bobbin thread in there. Fiddly old rascal. Right, it's going to attach onto that shank there, and you should hear it go clunk. There we go. Brilliant. So now, if I turn my machine round, you'll see that the buttonhole, whoops, foot is right out the back. Okay, so my machine has automatic buttonholes. So I am going to select the buttonhole that I want, just a very simple, straightforward, flat buttonhole. Let me just position this a bit better for you. Perfect. Okay, so things to remember. Your buttonhole foot will need, there's, there's usually um, a thing around here that you pull down. See that little black thing appear? Okay, that stops the foot traveling in both directions and that is correspondent with the size of the button you're using. The second thing to remember is make sure that the back and the sides and anything else, the fabric is absolutely flat when you go in here. If you can imagine, if there's a ruck behind the foot, it's going to get trapped in this gap here and it's going to create a false stop. The other thing to remember is nine times out of ten, your sewing, your buttonhole is going to start by going backwards. So let's just see. I always, even now, I always do a test. A, a few of you will remember if you followed me on Create and Craft, I did actually bugger this up right royally, live on air with a machine I wasn't so familiar with. And uh, we went back to normal sewing mode and the machine kept beeping at me, beeping at me, beeping at me. And I was freaking out and I'd forgotten to put that up. So pop it down. So we're just going to sew. So as you can see, it's doing a double stitch at the top. It's going to continue to go backwards until it hits that stopper and then it's going to come forward oh it's magic in it in a straight line and then it's going to satin stitch backwards over that straight line to the stopper again and it's going to finish and then lock and that is a one-step buttonhole magnificent right so what was the quick unpick for Cheryl I'll show you. Okay, this is a little tip that everyone should know. Can't get a button through there yet. So what we are going to do is, if I can get it focused, there we go. <laughs> what we're going to do is we are going to see where that stitch starts. We don't ever want to sew through that. So we're gonna pop a pin in and across there. Can you see that? Just on the inside. Now the quick unpick, here comes my nemesis, you are going to run that inside 
that groove, poke it in, and then very carefully ease it up towards the pin. Now what the pin is going to do, the pin is going to stop you cutting through the gap. So there is your buttonhole. We'll just trim off all the extra bits. And there we go. We've actually got um, a couple of threads there that shouldn't be there. I think it's where it's caught the um, the bobbin length coming back. Tidy it up nice and neat. And then if we get our button out, we should find that that is exactly the right size. Oh, I'm so happy. Brilliant. So there's a button masterclass. Really, 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 really simple. Um, just a couple of things in there to remember for success every time. And be like me, just practice it. Just when you're going to put a button into something, always have the first run on something um, that you don't mind having a mistake on rather than your garment, just to check that you've remembered everything in order and that you've got your little bar down and that there's nothing in the way of it because the last thing you wanna do is unpick that from a beautiful linen or something, something else. It's better to find out the mistakes um, after constructing a whole beautiful garment um, better to find out the mistakes as uh, before you start because normally the buttons are the last thing to go on so you can imagine can't you making a whole beautiful coat or a dress come to the buttons and then have a bit of a disaster and because it's slap bang in the middle of the front everybody's going to see it so always have a little practice first